Welcome to Weekly Build, episode one, and feel free to print these out and build along with me. Today we're gonna to be building a one minute timer. It's fully mechanical and only spring powered. So you wind it up and it goes for a minute. So start with the base here and then you'll have this smaller spring section connect with that second piece. Um, and you can lay on this balance wheel, which will be the portion that will flick the pallet fork back and forth. And you'll see that later on. So assemble this piece right onto that larger portion and make sure to slot it over the balance wheel. You can see the key feature slots it right over. So this is the next piece. Just slide it on over and you can see the slot where the point of the balance wheel meets with the point of the housing portion. And just do a little test spin just like that. Make sure it goes back and forth. Here's the pallet fork. So this is what controls the release of the motion. And balancing that pallet fork is the tricky part. So here's the escapement wheel. Just slot this right on there. And next up, another housing piece. Um, yep, you can see it's the one with the hole in the top. And it faces interfaces with the pallet fork and the escapement wheel. Just make sure that you're slotting in that escapement wheel and the pallet fork into the right hole. You can see the pallet fork kind of needs a little bit of convincing. But just give it a wiggle and it should be good. Here's the next piece. Uh, slot that uh, peg into the hole. And this is what you call a wind up gear. Um, so while you're winding it, it'll be free. But while you're unwinding, it'll engage. Here's another gear that it attaches to that. Next, assemble the next housing piece, which will slot over the wind-up gear and close everything together. Next up is this spring. So this is going to be powering the whole system. Just slot that in that little hole there, as well as this winding uh, apparatus that you'll basically be interfacing it with to wind it up. And then the final piece. There you go. Now we have a couple more pieces that are going to be holding it all together. You don't need any glue for this, so I wanted to add these little tabs. There's a trick to these tabs, and I'll kind of show you how to, how to snap them in right. So go to this bottom one right here, and you'll want to slide your thumb up into the cl clicking piece so you can kind of see how it snapped in place. So this next one I'm struggling with, and you'll see it. Uh, but when you're struggling with it, I would recommend trying to do that slide up method or swap the sides because sometimes your print may have some inconsistencies for one side and not the other. Um, so I would recommend just trying to figure out a different way for assembling it on your piece. There we go. So I snapped it on. Here's the final piece. This just keeps kind of those upper mechanisms together uh, that pallet wheel along with um, the you know the wind up gear so here you go that's the final product I can wind it up and it's good to wind this up in an upright position or slightly tilted to the left as you can see right there because the wind up gear may slip out of position if given too much impulse oh and you can see I got to reset that pin it wasn't on its pin but now it is so this will run for a full minute and then some. So if you'd like to have it match exactly one minute, um, you can time it a few times and then you can figure out, okay, at what point can I wind this up to um, to reach that one minute mark? Thanks for watching. And if you build this, uh, please let me know what you think. Thanks.